Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to a fact video. Now this video, in this video I'm going to be talking about the three interesting facts that you need to know about Thomas Partey before he even plays a game for Arsenal now. I know we have to wait another two weeks before we see him on the pitch against City away. So this is enough time to process all these facts and everything. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the facts that you need to know. So we finally got our man, uh, targeting, targeting him for two years and uh, the whole transfer window. So we had to wait and wait and wait. That's the thing, as always, as an Arsenal fan. But um, for the facts, this is a guy like there's some facts with here that you wouldn't really expect from such a guy or usually you hear facts about people and you're like wow i wouldn't have thought that so uh for this guy um the f i'm going to talk about three facts and some of them are on the pitch and some of them are outside the picture but the first one i'm going to be talking about is outside the pitch um so first of all he actually co-owns a football team would you actually imagine that like Thomas Partey actually co-owns a football team? So um, he and a couple of friends and a couple of um, Ghanaian friends and Spanish friends, they actually co-own a team in the northern suburbs of Spain, um, a fourth tier team. And um, just reading this was so interesting to me because I was like, man, Thomas Partey, if you have some spare money, just come and buy Arsenal. Just take over Arsenal. Take over Cranky, man. If you have enough cash to actually take over Cranky, please, please, I beg you, Thomas Partey, please do it. So he actually co-owns a football club um, in the fourth tier, which uh, what this football club normally does is um, they usually take some African talents and some Sp Spanish talents and they mix them in the team. So he actually does a big favor to the African talent and to the young Spanish talent. So he actually owns a team. You'd actually imagine if he actually buys Arsenal over Cranky. Please make it happen. Please make it happen. So that is the first fact. The second fact I'm going to be talking about is he actually left Ghana without his family knowing. <laughs> We've seen that before. We've seen that before. He actually left Atletico Madrid without Diego Simeone knowing so he like it's like he has been doing this since his childhood days that that was really funny to me like he actually left Ghana without his family knowing and he's actually left Atletico Madrid basically without Atletico Madrid knowing they came to know in the final minutes that Thomas Pat is having his medical for Arsenal so um his father and his agent um his father was actually a coach and uh, his agent they actually um, planned for him to go to Spain and to play for Atletico Madrid's B team. So without telling anyone else in the family, they like took him, they gave him the passport in the airport and they're like, you know what, you're not going back home to pack anything. Here's the plane, it's taking off, you're on your way to Spain. And um, the family only found out that he had left Accra when he, when he was already selected for the Atletico Madrid team. So they were like, where is he? And Thomas Partey was already in Spain, just like the way we've done to Atletico Madrid. So he actually left his family without anyone knowing. And uh, he traveled to Atletico Madrid team. He's actually been in Atletico since 2012. That was interesting. He was in the B team before being promoted to the first team. So that is the second fact about Thomas Partey. I don't know how much you care about that one, but the third one, I'm sure you'll care about it. And it's his versatility. Now, Thomas Pat is a very, very versatile player. Of course, we've signed him for his defensive midfield and box-to-box -box abilities, but he's actually going to bring more than that. Of course, there are games that Obama will be rested, there are games that Pepe will be rested, there are games that hopefully not, but defenders will be injured or suspended. And uh, I'm really hoping we will not come to that situation, but there are games that will actually need him to play more and more and in different positions. So you'd be happy to hear that he's actually a versatile player. Um, back in 2017, in a World Cup qualifier, they were qualifying for the 2018 World Cup with um, his Ghanaian team. And he actually scored a hat-trick against Congo. He actually scored a hat-trick. Um, he's not, as I've said, his natural position is defensive midfield, but in Ghana, he actually plays as a, an attacking midfield. Um, he scored a hat-trick to... 
to actually help their chances to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. And uh, that day he was playing as a, a central attacking midfielder. So could we need him in that position? I don't know. We have William Pepe, we have Smith Rowe, we have Ozil if he's going to come back. So we might not need him in that game, but you never know. Maybe there's some games where we'll be like nil-nil and you're trying to fight for a goal and trying to get a goal in the last minute. And he can actually help us in the forward position. So he can actually play as a winger. He's played there. He can play as a centre-back, um, just like the way Shaka did, I think, two seasons ago when we are, we had a lot of injuries. He can cover as a centre-back when you're trying to play a back five or just trying to defend for our lives. So um, any position you need him to play, he will play for you. So we're not just signing him because he's a defensive midfielder box-to-box. -box. He can score a couple of goals. He can cover in the wing for a few minutes or whatever. He can cover in the central defense if someone is out getting treated and he would actually do well. So this is a very, very big signing for us. Welcome to Arsenal, Thomas Partey. Um, I already did a video about how we could line up with him. It's going to be very interesting, man, how we line up with him. I can't wait for that City game. I don't know if he's going to start, but it's going to be very interesting. But as of now, that was just the three facts that you need to know about Thomas Partey. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep staying safe and I'll catch up with you guys later.